the line representing the possible combinations of risk free assets and optimal risky assets portfolio is known as indifference curve utility function capital allocation line now when investors utility function represents the investor preference in terms of risk and return so it reflects the investors preference in terms of risk and return and the indifference curve represent the plot of combination of risk and returns for which an in investor is indifferent so let us plot the risk by the standard deviation on the x axis and the expected return on the y axis so for an individual the indifference curve will look something like this for a particular combination of let's say he is looking for r1 return at a risk of sigma 1 and let's say there is another point on the indifference curve which is represented by r2 comma sigma 2 then we can say that the investor is indifferent between r1 comma sigma 1 and r2 comma sigma 2 it means that for a difference between for the difference of risk equal to sigma 2 minus sigma 1 the if the investor is compensated by r2 minus r1 this additional gain in the return then the investor is indifferent so the utility function of an investor is same along the indifference curve however the capital allocation line represents the line and it is a possible combination of risk free assets and optimal optimal risky assets portfolio so the line that passes through the risk free asset uh, that reflects the possible combination of risk free assets and the optimal risky asset portfolio is known as the capital allocation line or the cal so the cal will plot like this where if the weight of the optimal risky asset portfolio is equal to zero then the expected return is equal to the risk free rate of return and as the as the standard deviation or the riskiness of the portfolio increases or more weight is being added to optimal risky risky asset portfolio the the risk factor increases as well as the expected return also increases so it will look something like this